All right, what's up, YouTube? It's going to be a behind the camera video because, well, it's raining out and I got limited space. I'm currently under the cover. All right, so I'm installing an active trim unit. Um, and it came as a kit. Went on Mercury site and found out the exact kit I needed. Came with uh, the harness, came with the uh, control unit, which module, which I mounted here. Comes with this wiring harness. This big thing comes off, and you've got all these wires. What I wanted to show is because this, this was kind of took me a while to figure it out, which it's not very hard, but the instructions aren't very good. So you, you, once you mount your, um, I think it's a CMU, your computer control unit, you're going to plug in your big cable, then you're going to have these cables sticking out. Now, the smaller cable is going to plug into the actual head unit. So this will go into here. So that'll go into there. Then you've got this uh, J box from Mercury. Um, they say you want the, in the instructions. It shows you want a Terminator. Um, so I bought one. Um, the J box. I actually paid more for it. I think you get these for like forty-five bucks now, and this is probably like ten. Um, it does come with two plugs. Um, I have one on there. So what happens is, is this this plug right here comes from the wiring harness that comes from your side shifter. All the way from the motor, it's wired all the way through, and then it pops out. And uh, get this flashlight in here, but there's a wiring harness, wraps around, it comes from here, and comes down here. So, this plug it comes from the uh, throttle, plugs into your J box on one part. Then, one thing that I had a hard time is there's supposed to be an adapter. Um, this is for your trim switch. Um, and this goes on this side of the wiring harness that comes off this, let's call it this CMU. Um, and you need to be able to plug it into this plug. Well, technically I could have cut this off and soldered it to this, but I wanted to be able to remove it if I needed to and I didn't know where I was gonna install it. So I bought, um, if you look up Lund, Lund, Lund trim adapter, it comes with like this one that's a splitter, but it has this type of plug, which is what you need to plug into the wiring harness that comes with the active trim unit. So I actually did solder these. I was gonna do bullets, but it just was easier and it's my boat and I'm gonna keep it for probably the rest of my life and give it to my kids. Um, definitely probably go through a few motors, but. So what happens is, is these wires are pretty self-explanatory. Um, colors match up. This goes into here. So I'm going to plug that into there. Then this, this wire coming from the same harness from the MCU has this other plug. So this plug went to your head unit. This plug goes to the J-Box. Now, the complication I had was on my tachometer up here. This actually has another one of those plugs, which is right here fortunately if i take this cover off which i'm gonna leave it on um this is male and in here this is this is male so i'd order a female to female adapter so that i'll be able to plug it in here and then plug it into here and then i'll get my gauges back which is mainly my tachometer but the other ones get powered um, so what I'm doing is, for mine, you have to do the cutout, depending on where you're going to mount it. I'm mounting mine right here. Looks ugly, but, you well, know, it's there. And then I'm going to actually mount the J-Box back behind here because the wire coming from the throttle, well, motor technically, but the harness plug is not long enough. I want to mount it up underneath the, the foot space on my Lund. Um, and if you have to ask, uh, it's a Lund uh, Adventure 1775. Um, and that's what I want to show is just how all the wiring works. So this will get an adapter for my tachometer and my gauges and plug into the J box from Mercury. Um, so I wanted to show kind of how all this goes together. Now back in the motor, which I got all the stuff up there, um, you have to install a, the trim sensor, which should be on your boat if you got a newer one. Um, the one that comes in the kit is a analog one. 
and then it gives you a, oh sorry it's digital and then it give you a digital to analog converter that pipes it all the way up here so that it, you can interface with it um, so that the uh, head unit knows what to do my boat since it's a lund um, they don't allow you to trim the motor all the way up if not it'll actually hit here so they have a analog to digital converter that has a limiter on it so my motor can only come up so far um, but on the outside end it goes back out to analog so i didn't actually have to deal with anything back in the uh, under the cowling although it spent some time trying to figure out how that was wired um, so this is my quick view of installation of the active trim um, if you have any questions let me know um, i will post a video of me testing it showing that you know it works before this installation into the uh, sidewall and then um, I'll probably post a video after I get all this together and get all my gauges plugged in and win this J box and get everything working um, as like a final finished project. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and this again is a Lund Adventure 1775 2021 with a, uh, I got a 115 Pro XS. All right, this is the auto trim test. As you can see, we got, I got the module going. Just got it temporarily here. I'm going to mount it right here, just making sure it works. And let's see what it looks like. So I've got it finally installed. The uh, computer modules right here. Back behind these two are the J box. And then I've got the wiring zip tied up in this cubby. And then I also have it zip tied here. And then there's another one here. And then down here, um, I actually put another zip tie to help hold stuff up. So there we go, all tightened away. Um, I do need the uh one more um that adapter so that i can get all my stuff plugged in especially for my uh rpm gauge but i'm just going to show you what it looks like when you power it up now this isn't the first time because i did go out and test it um, you'll see that video first or well somewhere in the order um but when when you turn it on for the first time you just turn the key and it should come up and they all should be orange now when you initially start it up, these will all be flashing. Um, and that means you need to set um, the range of motion for your motor. So you end up trimming it all the way up, all the way, or all the way down, all the way up. And then uh, then you you press, uh, I believe it's resume in the up arrow and you hold it. And then um, from there you can go through and program as far as how aggressive you want the trim to be as like a baseline and then you get your profiles that way. All right, we're on the sea trial. Um, I've got everything buttoned up and put away and mounted. Just a quick rundown. I've got the uh, CMU mounted right here. I've got the J box back behind here, and I've got the head unit mounted here. Initial startup. Lights come on, and then all amber means they're good. These are the profiles. Five, higher bow, one, lower bow. Go in the middle. This quick run. It's super foggy out here. Went out to the middle of the lake to make sure I'm in a safe zone. I haven't heard anybody running. This lake's pretty big, so if I haven't heard anybody, it should be fine for this quick little run. Get in a safe direction.
chain properly. Did want to show something else real quick. So if we're going along and uh, we actually touch the trim button on the handheld, this light starts flashing, which means it disengaged it. So you always have the ability just to go back to manual. Press the on button, it resumes the auto trim or the active trim. Just wanted to say thanks for watching. If this helped you out, just give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, let me know. If you want me to show what needs to be done under the hood, I can uh, do that as well. I know this video would help me a lot when I was uh, looking at installing this. Thanks again.